fingers say? Baby says, I want the milk. I'm dropping it. <laughs> there he sat, that doctor smile, face down in a pool of bile. Dr. Smile looked up and gazed at Pete's white and trembling face. Come closer to my teeth, little Pete. Your friends won't miss you. Booty Bomb Key? This should open the Booty Bomb Clubhouse in Red Wind Village.
August 5th, 1965. Dearest Diary, I'm feeling downcast today. I watched her as she talked to that silly orphan boy, her hair sweeping through the wind like shampoo-scented waves of grass. Ren is so creative, so brave, so everything. The purest form of beauty, unmatched, a goddess of smooth, sun-freckled shoulders. I'm in awe of her. So often do I wish that I could say it proudly, out loud. Why, oh words, aren't you so broken? A bully's mouth with no hesitation. In other news, Colin suddenly decided his name should be Skunky. I prefer his full name, Colin James Coy. But whatever, if the shoe fits. Introspectively and affectionately, Simeon. August 6th, 1965. Dearest Diary, my sunshine, my dancing princess of feminine mystery is still missing. Ren, where art thou? If your stupid piss mouth boyfriend wasn't such a coward, maybe he could have protected you. But neither would I. Neither would I. A trivial poem is all I have for you, my love. My mare, my garden flower in despair. Ren, a galaxy afar by Simeon Richardson. Ren, a galaxy afar, a glinting pink and fading star. Me, a lifeless planet bare. Impossible, I'd like to travel there. Who can hold her blinding light, my precious queen of golden might? To peek and see her blinding glare, a pointless rock would never dare. Ren, a galaxy afar, a smiling, laughing, friendly mare. Me, a lifeless planet, scared. Impossible, I'll never travel there. Introspectively and affectionately, Simeon. August 7th, 1965. I snuck into Ren's house today to see if maybe she'd returned. Pete was still asleep as usual in his stupid cot but my beautiful Wren was nowhere to be found. I now know my task. I, her knight in shining armor, shall save her and protect her. In spite of my phobia, I shall enter the Spiderian sewer. Introspectively and affectionately, Simeon. Booty Bum Super Secret Post Office. First name, please. Last name, please. Oh, wait, there's only one Pete. Let me see here. Hmm. <laughs> I've got nothing for you, ma'am. Not with that name, anyway. Yeah. Have you considered <coughs> looking around the club? Maybe your name is something else. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for you, ma'am. Unless you have another name. First name, please. The only male I've got is for a Colin, a Milton, and a Perry. There's three different people in this town with that first name. <gasps> middle name, please. I've got middle names of Stephen, James, and John. What? There's three different people in this town with that first and middle name. Last name, please. I've got last names of Richardson, Coy, and Pemtroil. Hmm. I've got nothing for you, ma'am. Unless you have another name. First name, please. The only male I've got is for a Colin, a Milton, and a Perry. There's three different people in this town with that first name. <gasps> middle name, please. I've got middle names of Stephen, James, and John. What? There's three different people in this town with that first and middle name. Last name, please. I've got last names of Richardson, Coy, and Pemtroil. Hmm. I've got nothing for you, ma'am. Unless you have another name. First name, please. The only male I've got is for a Colin, a Milton, and a Perry. There's three different people in this town with that first name. <gasps> middle name, please. I've got middle names of Stephen, James, and John. What? There's three different people in this town with that first and middle name. Last name, please. I've got last names of Richardson, Coy, and Pemtroil. Hmm. I've got nothing for you, ma'am. Unless you have another name. August 5th, 1965. Dearest Diary, I'm feeling downcast today. I watched her as she talked to that silly orphan boy, her hair sweeping through the wind like shampoo-scented waves of grass. Ren is so creative, so brave, so everything. The purest form of beauty, unmatched, a goddess of smooth, sun-feckled shoulders. I'm in awe of her. So often do I wish that I could say it proudly, out loud. Why, oh words, aren't you so broken? A bully's mouth with no hesitation. In other news, Colin suddenly decided his name should be Skunky. I prefer his full name, Colin James Coy. But whatever, if the shoe fits. <laughs> Nothing for you, ma'am. First name, please. The only male I've got is for a Colin, a Milton, and a Perry. Oh, wow. There's three different people in this town with that first name. <gasps> middle name, please. I've got middle names of Stephen, James, and John. What? There's three different people in this town with that first and middle name. Last name, please. I've got last names of Richardson, Coy, and Pemtroil. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Coy. Looks like you've got a message from Preston.
sugar blasters. Give me those. Preston was supposed to give those to me. <laughs> Holy sugar! <laughs> I swear, I feel ten times more powerful. What a rush! You know what, dude? I owe you one. Okay, here's the secret switch. Give it a whack and the power will be back on. Get ready. My granny is gonna start yakking. <laughs> using my soul. I'm like a boss, right?
Gross! Oh, what is that? Dr. Smiles not in his office right now. Uh, he doesn't really like room 303 that much uh, anymore. He's been spending a lot of time uh, in the attic. Pete, is that you? Why are you so small? Forty years later, and you still look so young. Doc was right. I've lost it. Oh, this is my private million dollar training gym. Gabuesa Elite Fitness Center. I'm talking about me. And all my gold medals. Seventeen. Seventeen gold medals for acrobatics of all kinds. Oh, those were the days. Handsprings, flips, spins, more flips, jumps, swinging, all the moves. The mighty Gamboisa. You remember now? What would you say if I challenged you to a good old-fashioned race from here to the chandelier? Oh. Bet you can't keep up with these legs. <laughs> You're right. But a race will help eliminate the sadness. Race to the chandelier. Get ready, old friend. Three. Two. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Melanie may have left me after I broke my neck, but I did just win that race. 